Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well today. I just wanted to do a really quick review on the number 12 makeup brush by Billy B Beauty. So I recently found out about these brushes by Billy B um, because Goss Makeup Artist did a recent just rave crazy rave on them. So I looked them up and it was actually kind of hard to find how, at least for me, because I tried to do it on my iPhone first and it, it was really hard and then finally I ended up figuring out that they only sell them online um, at Beautylish.com. So Beautylish is beauty L-I-S-H dot com, which is actually a really cool site that I found through this. Um, they do reviews and, and different things, so you should check them out anyway. But, um, so I got these Billy B Beauty brushes, and I will end up doing a review of the rest of them, but so far, uh, I'm still kind of using them and everything before I do that. Um, but the one brush that's really stood out to me as just being different than anything else I had and just really, really useful is the number 12 brush. So it looks like this. This. So you see it says 12 on one side, Billy B Beauty on the other side, and it just looks like a small, almost like angled liner or eyebrow brush. However, it's actually a little bit longer and a little bit thicker than those. So um, here I have my Sigma Small Angle E65 brush in the synthetic one. And you can see the Billy B Beauty one is a little bit thicker. This is also a, an eyebrow brush by Haku Hodo that I have. So especially that one you can really tell in the camera um, that it's a lot thicker than the brush by Billy B. So um, the Billy B brush, it actually, I don't know, when I got it in, I kind of looked at it and I was like, what is this? Because I, I haven't really seen a detail brush that really looks anything quite like this. I mean, when you look at it, it almost looks like like an old eyebrow brush or liner brush that's all splayed and so you don't want to use it anymore. But um, when I started to use it, I just found that the thickness of it this way and then the stiffness and softness of it just make it so, so useful to do detail work. I've been loving this so much more than all my pencil brushes and other detail brushes. So you can use it just to get underneath um, and do like with uh, eyeshadow to do like liner with your, with your shadow underneath or to do like to smoke it out you can lay this down really well it's good for laying shadow and it's good also for blending. It's stiff enough to blend it out really well and it's just the nicest size for doing it down underneath your eye. It's also great for um, like if you do a smoky eye and you're trying to um, really precisely place the dark shadow uh, and then blend that out. You can place it and blend it with this brush. You can do highlighter. I mean you can do anything little detail with this brush. It's just absolutely wonderful. So I've been I've been really loving this brush and I wanted to share that with you. I totally recommend it check it out. If you have the money and you're looking for something like this to do little detailed stuff, I've just absolutely been loving it. So um, that's everything I have to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Talk to you soon.